St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first is an anonymous donor from Ottawa. She offers this Mass in memory of her husband Daniel, who died April 13, 2006, and for the deceased members of their family and friends. The second are Doug and Marie McDougall from Sydney, Nova Scotia, and they offer this Mass for their personal intentions. And the third donor is Joanna McDesey from North York, Ontario, in thanksgiving for favors received for her personal intentions and for peace in our world. On behalf of all those who take part in this Mass across Canada, we thank you for your generosity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. may the risen Christ be with you all. Let us gather our lives, our intentions and prayers, our world and our situation, and offer it to God, and pray that the risen Christ will be with us in good moments and in difficult times. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, may we whom you renew in baptism bear witness to our faith by the way we live. By the suffering, death, and resurrection of your Son, may we come to eternal joy. He lives with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jew saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and blaspheming. They contradicted what was spoken by Paul. Then both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, saying, It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken first to you. Since you reject it and judge yourselves to be unworthy of eternal life, we are now turning to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light for the Gentiles, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and praised the word of the Lord. And as many as had been destined for eternal life became believers, Thus the word of the Lord spread throughout the region. But the Jews incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men of the city and stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of the region. So they shook the dust of their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord.
has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord be with you. Also A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. During the supper, he said to his disciples, If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. It is if in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. 